The Solid Sea is designed with maintenance in focus. In the following, we will take you through the servicing step by step. Fit a screwdriver in the groove on the safety guard and it is easily removed. Unscrew the clamps and remove the pump casing. Fix the shaft with a screwdriver and remove the impeller screw and impeller. Remove the O-ring. Unscrew the stationary seal with the tool supplied with the pump. Remove the O-rings. Take out the remaining shaft seal through the hole in the back plate. This front-loaded design allows you to save valuable time. In the service kit, you will find all the necessary wear parts required for servicing. When assembling the rotating part of the shaft seal, make sure that the drive ring pin enters the notch on the rotating seal ring. Fit the O-ring on the stationary seal ring and screw it into the back plate. Always lubricate O-rings with food grade grease or oil before mounting. As for the disassembly, you fix the shaft with a screwdriver. When you press the pump casing to metallic contact, it will stay in place, allowing you to work with the clamp using both hands. The outlet can be placed in any direction you wish, enabling you to adjust exactly to your pipework. The safety guard is easily fixed with your hands only. Press the guard slightly and it will lock by itself. You can easily convert the solid C shaft seal from single to flushed. Dismantle the pump as shown in the previous sequence. When rebuilding the shaft seal, you must first remove the back plate. Loosen the nuts to remove the back plate and rotating shaft seal. Fit the lip seal in the seal housing. Place the housing on the back plate. Fit and tighten the two screws. Fit the drive ring onto the shaft. Ensure that the drive ring pin enters the notch on the rotating seal ring. Fit the back plate and the flushing pipes. The remainder of the assembly is identical to the servicing of a single shaft seal. When motor servicing or replacement is needed, follow the disassembly instructions until the back plate is removed as shown previously. Loosen the pin screws in the coupling and remove the shaft and coupling. Remove the shroud. Loosen the bolts in the flange. Remove the adapter. You can now access the motor for servicing. Reassemble the adapter. Fit the shaft and coupling without tightening the pin screws. Fit the back plate, washers and nuts. Insert the 1mm impeller setting tool before fixing the impeller and impeller screw. When the impeller is tightened, you must tighten the pin screws in the coupling to a torque of 18 Newton meters. Now remove the distance piece and assemble the rest of the pump as demonstrated previously.